Uh, the Youth Fair, Berkeley County Youth Fair, kicks off this weekend. We'll have wall-to-wall coverage of that like we always do with TV10. And on the talk show, we'll be featuring Mary Beth uh, Blair all week uh, next week, uh, Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. with different guests. She'll also be on later on uh, this week as well to uh, kind of preview what's going on. In studio with us right now, I have uh, Carly Hornby. Carly, good to see you again. It's been a long time since we last spoke, like a week. Uh, uh, Chloe Craighead. Chloe, good morning to you. Good morning. And Sabri Craighead, too. Sabri, good morning. Good morning. Now, because these two are in various degrees of enthusiasm about that microphone, I'm expecting you to kind of carry this uh, interview here, too. This today. being radio. This yeah. being radio and TV. Of course, we have the cameras on, all three of you as well. So, uh, and, and Sabri, come to your right a little bit so I can get you in the camera shot, too. Just keep squishing to your right a little bit there. Uh, first and foremost, let's talk about the fact that you guys are all, Carly, you can't slide to your right. You'll get out of here. There you go. Uh, shot. So you guys are ra- all raised animals and present them at the youth fair. So, Sabri, tell me about your experience doing this, how long you've been doing it, and, and what these two as younger people have been doing. I'm just the financial backer for the whole thing. <laughs> the money behind the project. I'm the money behind the project. Right. Um, it is a year-long project. It's something that these girls commit to when they decide that they want to show an animal at the Berkeley County Youth Fair. It's not for the faint of heart. Mm-hmm. It is definitely you're out there when it's cold and when it's hot and you put them before you put yourself. It is definitely the most self-sacrificing year that these girls have had. And what are they raising? What animals? Um, Chloe has a goat and a lamb mm-hmm. and Carly has a lamb. Carly has a lamb. Okay, so what's the time cycle from when you get one of these animals to the time it's off to the youth fair to present it? Depends on what you're showing it. So let's talk about the goat. Um, for us, we do breeding. Mm-hmm. We don't do market. Okay. So ours don't ever leave the farm. They okay. come home. <laughs> so so you, it is a permanent acquisition. You start from the baby goat. Mm-hmm. Yep. What's a baby goat called? Kid. A kid. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you start with the kid and then all the way up until what age when they're eligible to, to be presented at the youth fair? Um, well, they're presented... They're not even a year old when you first show yeah. them. You're, they're about like... Nine. Come closer to your microphone oh, so we can sorry. hear you. They're maybe about, what, nine months? Nine months. And you can you officially have to stop showing that goat once they turn the age of was five. It five? Yeah. So I showed my first goat. I've been doing goats for seven years. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. About seven years now. And the first goat I ever showed, her name was Daisy, and she's full boar. And that means what? That's the breed of her. So she's a boar goat. Mm-hmm. But I've been showing her ever since two, one, two years ago. Well, you you got Mabel last year. So a, since last year. And she's done me pretty well. It's like you put her out in the ring, and she knows exactly what to do. All you got to do is just set her up, and she's <laughs> perfect. All right. Do they have to do tricks? No, no tricks. Okay. <laughs> Yes, it is a trick just to get them in the ring and to stand where they're supposed to stand. Right. So Sometimes, huh? Yeah. yeah. But once you get them in a the ring, the whole idea is for it to just behave like a goat. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. And, and uh, Carly, what are you raising? You have to pull the microphone over towards you so we can hear you. I'm raising a uh, market lamb. Market lamb. What's your lamb's name? Remy. Remy. Okay. And uh, how, how old was Remy when you got Remy? Oh, two months, maybe. Yeah. Two months, and yeah. how old is Remy now that you'll be showing Remy? He was born in what January? Yeah. So seven months, like eight months. Week. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And is this Remy's first showing? No. No. Are you? Oh, how old was Remy when you first showed Remy? Like we went to that jackpot in what March? March. May? No. It's like March. 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 Yeah. So okay. He was so what are the criteria on which they're judged? The confirmation. What does that mean? How their body's built and whether or not. If you look at them, whether they would be good to pass on their genetics to the next line that you want to have. Or for like market, it's confirmation and like. Oh. Yeah, pull that close to you. So for market, it's confirmation in the chest, how meaty their hips are, their belly, how nice their legs look, how nice and straight their neck is. It's all confirmation on how meaty and nice the body looks. And how much of that? The result is on you, the the one who raised the goat, as opposed to genetics. So there's different kinds of shows. So there's showmanship, then there's market, and then there's the month you like they were born. 
So for showmanship, that's all on you. That's how you can get how fast you can set the sheep up, how fast you can get him to look nice. And it's all on you on eye contact, keeping a smile with the judge, making sure you watch where they move. Whereas for market, it's how nice the sheep looks. And for genetics, it's not really about how you work with it. It's about how its structure is built. So if it's got a nice body, if it's got nice meat, nice like legs, it's a very nice market sheep. But in order to get to that point, these girls, they put them on the stands to help, you know, set them up so that the correct muscles develop so that when they go into the ring that they have the correct muscling. Yes, some of it is genetics, but it's also walking the sheep. It's making sure that they have the right nutrition in order to yeah. fill out in the correct areas. Like the diet you put it on mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff. So the diet can affect which parts of the sheep develop? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Really? Yes. So you need uh, what kind of food helps the sheep develop overall? High protein. It has to be, um, you want more of a higher protein because your protein is what develops the muscles versus you don't want high fat. Yes, they need fat, but it's more protein because you need the amino acids for the muscle development. All right, looking around the room at the three men in the room, would you say that the majority of us have had a high protein or high fat <laughs> diet? <laughs> the donuts aren't showing, are they? Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> It's just not nice. <laughs> Sabri has declined to answer on that. Um, nope. I plead right the there. fifth on that one. All right, fair enough. All right, so uh, at the end of the showing for these animals, what's the next step for the animal? Do they come back to do another show the next year, or do they go to market? So Carly's will be sold at the Berkeley County Youth Fair Friday night. on Friday night. Remy's okay. going to be sold. Yep. Remy will be sold. Okay. Ours will come home, and you cannot breed. Well, it's frowned upon. But you wait until they're like 18 months old before you breed. Mm -hmm. So hers won't be bred this year, but will be bred the following year for okay. us to have another set of sheep to have. And what's, what's the lifespan of the typical sheep? How, how many years do they live? Oof. If you treat them well, they can live up to be, you know, eight, nine years old. How about a goat? About the same. About the same? All right. So uh, have you done any other animals besides sheep and goats in your time? Both these girls show horses as well. Okay. This is now uh, I know a lot about you and horses here, Cardi. Grab that microphone real, real, if you can. Are you going to be showing any horses? Yeah. Okay. Who are you showing? My horse, Phoenix. Phoenix. Okay. And how old is Phoenix? She's eight this year. Eight years old? Okay. So, And, and what kind of horse is Phoenix? She's a thoroughbred. Okay. Oh, so when you get on Phoenix to ride, that horse can go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So what do you do when you show Phoenix? Well. Is it different than showing a goat? It's very different. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like showmanship on the ground that you can do. Yeah, come closer. Um, but so there's like different classes, mm -hmm. but most of them you're on the horse. And usually you have to try to control the horse. <laughs> or you're riding it. Yeah. yeah. You don't ride the goat when you're showing no. the goat, though. <laughs> Does anybody ever ride a goat during the show? Well, you know, so. there is mutton busting. At the rodeo. There is. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's right. They have the mutton busting rodeo. They do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's fun. All right, so you're riding the horse. You're showing the horse. How long does this process take? It depends on the class, but for usually, like, I don't know. Five, ten minutes, yeah. usually. When did you get so shy? <laughs> You used to be a brash young lady who came in here and took this place by storm. <laughs> I'm not used to shy Carly. I don't know. When did that happen? All right, that's why I don't want to put any pressure on you. Okay. So uh, what, what else do we show at the youth fair besides horses, goats, and sheep? Um, there are also your cows, your cattle. Mm -hmm. You have your beef cows, and then you will have your dairy cows. There's also swine. And most, all of those are usually market as well. And then you have, of course, your indoor projects, which is photography, baking, um, welding. Okay. There's all kinds of chickens. different projects. Chickens. That, oh, chickens, and chickens, chickens and rabbits. Chickens have got to be tough to show. Uh, yeah. They're yeah, I would, I would agree with that. Hard to They've show. got their own minds. Yeah. yeah. That they do. Get them to do tricks. <laughs> 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 Yeah, very nice. All right, so how many years have you been doing this, did you say, Sabri? Um, it's about, oh. it's been nine years since I started showing. Nine years, Chloe? Yeah. All mm -hmm. right, so you would have been how old when you started? What, five, six? You started 4-H or eight when you were eight, yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So uh, when do you age out of doing this? You age out at the age of 21. 21. Are you going to try to keep doing this till you're 21? Yes, how about definitely. You, how about you, Carly? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, very nice. All right. Uh, how many kids in general during Youth Fair Week show animals? Oh, roughly. <laughs> roughly. Ballpark. I'm going to say there's probably close to 300 Ooh. or plus. That's impressive. Mm-hmm. All of our good. barns are full this year. Is that- like we have no room for no extras. As a matter of fact, it has been the pens have been rearranged several times just to make the accommodations for the amount of kids that are showing. Is that normal? Um, it's a definite uptick from what it was. <laughs> That's great. Mr. Gilstrap, do all the different animals get along in these pens? Um, well, because there are, you know, diseases and things of that nature that can transfer from one species to another. They have all of their separate areas, like we have the goat barn, and then we have the sheep are in a different area. The chickens and the rabbits are in a different area. The swine are in their own area, and the cows are all kept to themselves. In a crowd of sheep, assuming there's no markings on them, could do you think you would actually go and find your sheep from among all the others? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So when you work with them, they start to get used to you, and they'll follow you around like a dog as soon as you, they get used to you. So you walk in a field full of them, they walk right up to you. You know which one's yours. That's great. Oh, it's tough nice. when they get into your bed, <laughs> yeah. like my dog does. So, <laughs> When do you start showing animals? What day? Um, so the sheep show is on Sunday. That starts at 11 o'clock in the morning. And then the goat show is Monday. That's at 8. And then the horse shows are Wednesday and Thursday, and those both start at 8. All right, very nice. Sabri, thank you. You're very welcome. You did a great job anchoring the crew. Oh, (laughs) well, you know. It's just kind (laughs) of got to take it the way that it goes. Good job. Shy Carly, nice to meet you for the first time. (laughs) (laughs) I know the other Carly. Shy Carly is the first time I've met her. Chloe, well done. Thank you. Very nice. Appreciate you guys coming in.